Ursula Anhut Franke. I'm a dermatologist born in Germany and working in the beautiful island of Mallorca. And I have specialized in aesthetic dermatology and laser dermatology. We are going to treat uh, our 41 year old patient. She has uh, the initial signs of skin aging or photo aging uh, with lots of lentigos uh, in, on her chest, also some redness, also the first loss of elasticity. So she will benefit from the IPL treatment in combination with the 1940 FRAX treatment. Why do we do that? This is mainly to address pigmentation and diffuse redness. And then uh, at the same time, we uh, open the channels in the epidermis with the 1940 and uh, allow active ingredients like vitamin C, like retinol to pass uh, better and more efficient into the epidermis in the next three, four weeks. We see on her chest, you know, the age spots, yeah, the lentigo solaris, so this is due to chronic sun exposure. We do see also some vascular components, so which uh, makes the skin look appear a little bit blotchy, a little bit reddish, a little bit brown, and this is something we would like to improve. My approach uh, for today uh, will be that we are going to use the SBT uh, IPL technology with the VL555 uh, handpiece uh, because the, ch the skin on the chest is quite a delicate uh, skin so we need to be careful with our settings so we don't work as as uh, ingress aggressive uh, as we do on the face uh, because the skin needs uh, some special um, you know requirements our patient she is about Fitzpatrick uh, 2 um, skin type and she, uh, her skin is slightly tan but it's not a fresh tan so it's a tan from the summer this is what we experience all the time from our patients yes because they are still spending time in the sun but always protected so it's skin type 2 she has low sun tan and uh, we choose the uh, uh, diffuse redness and pigment mode with a double pulse uh, 9 joule divided in two pulses with a 10 milliseconds delay. On the chest we always need to be a little bit careful yeah, because the skin is much more delicate so I always do a test. Here we are. And then I always, what I do is I watch the reaction of the skin. And we can see here a clear change of the color on the lentigo. So this is exactly what we are uh, expecting from the treatment. Now we have about two minutes and you see clearly this is an untreated lentigo here and this is the treated one. So we see clearly the oxidation process of the lentigo and this is our endpoint. This is exactly what we would like to reach without too much redness around it. So I do feel comfortable with this setting so now I try to be quite quick. In the meantime we can cool already the tissue and we start with one pass. I always advise my patients please let me know if you would like a break otherwise most of the patients like uh, me to treat them quickly. So now we need to be very careful because we reach now the bony structures uh, above the clavicula. Yeah, so uh, on bone we have a higher uh, absorption of energy, of heat. So I try to be always perpendicular to the uh, to the bone so that we do not create too much heat with one shot yeah, to avoid a burn. Yeah, so we have a great change of color here, yeah, a great darkening. This is something that we advise our patients. This darkening process will take about 7 to 10 days to disappear on the chest. It always takes a couple of days longer than on the face. 
and uh, otherwise there is no wound, there is no swelling, there is no, uh, let's say, discomfort apart from the next maybe one or two hours where people do experience a little bit of heat but we are going to apply a very nice calming mask this is something that we advise to use at home also in the next 24 hours so people can follow their normal activities of course with sun protection uh, but pretty straight away after the treatment Yes, so I think for the chest, super important is really not to overtreat, not to use too aggressive settings because the skin is sensitive on the, on the chest. Yes, and we have the bony structures, especially if somebody is rather slim and rather bony. So it's, it's very important not to overtreat. What we can do is to give an extra glow is we can combine this with a FRAX 1940 treatment. We will have open channels in the epidermis so which will allow us to penetrate active ingredients like vitamin C, like antioxidants into the skin. So this gives us a little extra for the patient and she will absolutely love that. We always try to educate our patients in focus on the decolletage and on the hands at the same time as on the face because otherwise uh, we see quite a difference between the changes on the face and on the rest of the body and this doesn't match at a certain point so that's why it's so important really to treat those areas as frequently as we do treat the face